So we're going to just take a look at Malta and we can give you the squad for Malta. And there you see up on the screen. So our starting sevens coming out today for Malta. Quickiola at goalkeeper, Vela at goal defence, Patch at wing defence, Ferrugia at centre, Hilly at wing attack, Garlea at goal attack, and Boticic at goal shooter. And moving on to Switzerland. And you can see the squad up there, the starting sevens for Switzerland. Penza, goalkeeper. Chanavon, goal defence. Littler, wing defence. Kalmi, she's their centre and captain. Ridderburn at wing attack. Coulson, goal attack. And Oitma at goal shooter. And there we see Sam Brightman just talking to the Swiss team as they do their final preparations. And just to let you know, the umpires for today's game are Team White, Natalie Gregan, Alison Davis, and our reserve, Janet Edeling. So Vicky, you watched yesterday's game. Who are the key players to look out for on the Swiss team? You mentioned Coulson. Any others that you would pick out and want us to look out for? Yeah, their centre, their captain. Um, she was a very good link through the court. She really tried to, um, from the from the centre pass, have a quick start. So the wing attack had to be prepared for the ball coming through and have good timing on the preparation for her, her um, the centre passes. She connected the defence to the attack very well, so the ball went through the court very quickly. So she is one of their key players, and she will, every time they scored, she was trying to lift her team and, and make sure that everybody was um, you know, up for it. So we're almost ready for the start of this first match. You've listened a little bit to what we're talking about in relation to today's game. You can have your say on Twitter, hashtag um, Netball Europe Open. Do get in touch. Do let us have your thoughts, particularly in and around this first game. So the teams are coming out to take their positions on court. And we're ready to go at Sports Central here in Newcastle upon Tyne. So as we said, tweet us using the hashtag Netball Europe Open, NE Open 16. And we'll do our best to read some of your comments during the coverage. And we've got some interesting statistics for you. When we look at the Malta lineup that just entered the court, we've got the Ferrugia sisters, daughters of the president, Francesca Ferrugia. She has 40 caps. She's been playing for 10 years. So a wealth of experience on the court for Malta, mixed in there with that blended youth and some of those young players. And here we see Switzerland entering the court. All players really keen just to get day two underway. This is a critical game for both of these teams. So Vicky, on form yesterday, who would it be that you'd probably side with in terms of taking the victory in this one? I think I'll probably go with the Swiss. I think their defence, defensive unit set up very well yesterday on the, on the USA shooters. Um, they're able to move the ball through the court very quickly. First centre pass. Just cast an error there. So we watched both teams warm up. Switzerland seem to be playing with a little bit more structure in their game if we take yesterday's form. 
but just a few early errors in and around the circle edge for Switzerland. So they'll be looking just to tighten up on that shooter ball and certainly just look short and try and securely deliver that ball into the shooters. It's always a shaky start, isn't it? Yeah. In the first game of the day. There'll be some nerves as well. It'll have been quite a crucial game. So Coulson about to take a first shot. She'll be pleased to get the first goal on the board and Switzerland take the early lead. Everyone talks an awful lot about Malta and the Maltese and how they can move the ball around. Often looking short, as you can see, they're very good at speed in terms of cutting in front of the defence. So they'll be trying just to put their mark on this game. And that's a good ball through from Galea through to Botticic. I think this may come down to errors. And both teams really do need to just not commit those unforced errors. That is, as you say, Vicky, it's crucial just to make sure that they keep possession, they don't force the ball forwards. And this is a good build-up by Malta. Just not able to convert. And Penza, she picks up there at the back. Little bit of a height difference in there with Penza. She looks strong. Good communicator at the back for Switzerland. But we always say that dreaded diagonal, trying to get that ball over defence. But again, Switzerland back in possession. Just shaky, Vicky, isn't it, around the circle edge. Just not able to get that flat ball into their shooters. Yeah, definitely. They're just not connecting with each other at the moment. Um, the ball's just been raised when there's no need to. And we've got quite a few lateral movements hiding behind their defenders. They need to front up and be an option. Nice pass in there. That might have been meant for the goal attack. <laughs> Garlea, but it certainly got to Botticic there, so clever move. Malta just seemed to be patient with the ball. Yeah, it's not afraid to play this ball around, Malta. Got a body on the line there. And some good strong arms over the ball by Switzerland. It's just about keeping themselves in the game. They're just getting caught on the contacts, but so many early errors for both teams. So it's tidy up time on court. Really do need to think about this ball through the court now, Switzerland. Good and defense there. Yeah, good defense. Strong defense from Malta. Getting on the front, just stopping any forward option. Just break in there from the goal defense from the Swiss team. If you just look at the body positions through that mid-court, all the Maltese players are on the front. Switzerland just trying to force them up the court there. But that's what the Maltese want. They're quite happy being on the front and working themselves. It's just that pass, isn't it, Vicky? It is, certainly. Good vision, finding Galea, the Maltese, goal attack. And rewarded there for their patience, 
Malta not afraid to play the extra ball, playing a very short game all the way through the court. What would you want from Switzerland now, Vicky? I think that, well, the, the Maltese defence are working quite hard on the uh, wing attack, goal attack on the centre pass, uh, making it difficult for the attacking players to be available as the centre wants to release the ball, so they're slowing them down. Um, they, the Swiss just need to be a bit more patient, um, trying to get the ball to the circle edge, and um, once they get into the circle, Corson's got a very good drive front um, to, to take on the defenders, and Yesterday's shot was fallen quite well, so hopefully if they can be a bit more patient, try and get the work the ball in. Um, Coulson's got a good um, unit connection with the shooter that's in there, the young shooter. So they just need to be patient, provide some clear options, move the ball quickly through the court like they were doing yesterday. They just seem a little bit hesitant, hesitant today. And Chanavong, the, the goal defence for Switzerland, just supporting a little bit more speed through the midcourt. The ball did travel faster for Switzerland. They'll be keen just to secure this goal. But just a little bit too much on that. So shaky start by Hoytmer and Coulson for Switzerland, the shooter pairing. Lots of work around the circle edge by Ridderburn and Colmy just to try and give them that shooting opportunity. But that's a better... Finished by Coulson. So three goals all. And it's fairly low scoring in this first quarter. Just a lot of unforced errors as we go through those early minutes. So it's tidy up time for both teams. But credit to Malta. They're not afraid to just work this ball around patiently. Play that short ball. Attack, just getting herself in a good position there in the front of Owen defence. Just not able to convert that one. Golea again, she's been busy in the first half of quarter one. Just looking for a little bit more movement off the ball, I think, with the Swiss. Just limited in terms of their options, just a little bit more movement, Use, using the width of the court would just help them, particularly in that mid-court area. Malta really quick to get on the body of the Swiss players. Coulson gets a second chance, she converts, so Switzerland take the lead. Oh, good play. And the captain. Yes, good defensive work by Colmy. You mentioned her yesterday, Vicky. Did she add a value to the Swiss team? She certainly did. She did a very good mid well, She was definitely linked between the uh, defence and the attack through the middle, creating lots of space, keeping width when she needed to, making some strong drives through. Um, just started off a little bit slow today. I think pretty much all of the Swiss, Swiss team probably not on the same level that they were on yesterday. Hopefully, uh, as we um, progress through the game, it, it'll pick up a little bit. But defensively, they're working hard, trying to force errors. There we go. Three-second violation there for uh, the Maltese. And Malta probably would be disappointed with that. We could all see Botticic free as a shooter, but Hilly just couldn't get the ball into her. She decided to reset. So a little bit more communication needed for Malta. They're finding the space. They are free. It's just that vision to see, particularly... Uh, Botticic at goal shooter. Good shot. But the superb shot there by Coulson. Switzerland just pulling away by the two goals. 5 3. 
Malta are marking the uh, centre pass very well, really denying the wing attack the ball. So they're having to force the ball back, put some pressure on uh, the Switzerland defence to bring the ball through. And well, that was a great link. Colmy and Coulson just on the double play there, putting the ball in, and you can see what a take. And it's great to see Coulson take up that kind of position and drive through towards the post. Much better play by Switzerland. Good take. Just getting caught behind Ridderburn, isn't she? The wing attack yeah. as the ball comes through court. She's trying to rely on her speed to get free when sometimes you just, all you need is a stop or a change of pace, change of direction. Not for another error there. Need a bit more movement in the circle. Again, just relying on the overhead ball, Switzerland, but it gets through to Coulson. She's had quite an impact this last five minutes in this quarter. Probably the result of that ability just to start and play herself into the circle with the support of Colmy and Ridderburn, the mid-quarters around the circle edge. And Hoytma just offloads that ball to Coulson. Coulson again calmly puts that one in. She's the dominant shooter in there, Vicky, at the moment, isn't she? Yeah, she's certainly showing that she's got uh, a, a little bit more experience in there. She's uh, a lot more confident, um, but you know she's she's really connecting with the shooter as well. There's some shooter shooter balls going on, which is really good to see. Um, so yeah, at the moment she's uh, she's really standing out in that circle. Malta just trying to lift their team there. that characteristic one two Colmy to Coulson so that needs breaking down by Malta if they're to stop that sudden surge and that final ball into the shooting circle still in and somehow that ball stayed in it's in the hands of the Swiss goalkeeper Penza Ball. It's good positioning from the shooter there, holding to the post, keeping a defender on her back. Eyes on the ball. Yeah, Spotacic, she wants a little bit more service. She's asking for more. She's got the right position. She's certainly playing Penza well. And the height difference sides with Penza. But Botacic, she's got a good yeah. stronghold. But credit again to Switzerland. They're moving away with this lead. Can't fault the work of Coulson, the goal attack, and Carmi, the centre. And again, Botacic just holding strong on the body of Penza just to take that ball over into the back space. She's lifting the team, she's wanting the Maltese just to get themselves back into this game. She's the experienced one. Oh, may have an injury there. And the Maltese, Vela, she's Outside the goal defence. Time called, so she will need to leave the court. There's an ankle injury there. Uh, 
And there we see the bib just being taken off. There will be a replacement, obviously, on the 30-second timeout call. So Malta will find themselves playing the last 23 seconds of this first quarter with a replacement at goal defence. Looks like Camilleri, she's entered the court at goal defence. Last 10 seconds. Superb take again by Coulson, just not able to convert it, but rebound in the hands of Oitma. And there we go, that's the end of quarter one. Switzerland 11, Malta 6. Sudden surge of Switzerland, found their form. Six minutes towards the end of that first quarter. Some great linkage between Kalmi and Coulson as they move the ball through the court. We've witnessed Malta just probably make a few errors in and around the circle edge on attack. Not always finding Botticic, the goal shooter. She's been available. She's the communicator, the experienced one. I think she'll be giving a few strong messages, Vicky, at the interval. Yeah, I think so. She's definitely trying to lead her team on the court. Um, there's definitely some good um, defensive play from Penza and Chatnavong, um, which is obviously helping the Swiss team get some turnovers, and they're managing to keep that patience through the court and work the ball around the circle edge. When there was a, a time called there, you could just see the shooter goal attack and wing attack trying to get that communication, make sure that they're working the ball around the circle edge and that the wing attack's still available on the circle edge if the shooter's not feeling comfortable to put the shot up or if they're a little bit out of range. So it is really important that that communication is there. Uh, but yeah, Switzerland just stepping it up a little bit. And we're just going courtside, see if we can pick up what Sam Brightman's saying to this Swiss team at this first interval. Go for it. Go for it. Or go slow and then go fast.
So here we go. This is quarter two, and we've got a scoreline. Switzerland 11, Malta 6. It was a first quarter of some initial costly errors, but we witnessed a great comeback by Switzerland just to build on their score. And just losing possession there, Switzerland, but it was Coulson, the goal attack, that made a mark in that first quarter, linking so well with Kalmi, the centre. But a chance for Malta just to get a goal off the Swiss centre pass. And just to confirm that change for Malta, we have Maureen Camilleri at goalkeeper following that injury call and timeout in quarter one. But what a shot there from Coulson. She started as she finished off. Good defence there. Getting herself in the right position, front marking. And if yesterday is anything to go by, Switzerland were up against a different style of play with the USA. Couldn't quite see it through to the end, but they did draw the first quarter. And the key players yesterday were also Kalmi and Coulson. So, Orian Kalme, key player for Switzerland, and we're witnessing today that great double act with her and Emma Coulson so far in this game. Maltese with a chance now. And many yesterday, Vicky, were talking about the centre from Malta, Francesca Farugia, a feisty centre, not afraid of physical confrontation. What's all that about? <laughs> I think there was a lot of uh, fighting for the ball there, um, wanting possession, taking on the, uh, that role as a centre to take control and lead their team. Did well to keep that ball in, Botticic, but just couldn't offload that to Golea. Yeah, spotted that one, Natalie Gregan, the umpire there, footwork call against the Swiss, and the shooter, Hoytma. So Malta in possession again, just starting to close the gap. Almost lost possession there, Malta, just a really low release point, Vicky, the wing attack from Malta, Hilly just needs to just lift that ball a little bit, she's putting it into the hands of the Swiss and almost forcing the error herself as well by just that panic with the ball so low. She's just not seeing the, um, the Swiss defence either, the hands are just coming through at the last minute. Um, you've got Chattanoog who's, who's off marking as well, so she's, she's looking to hunt for the ball. See the Swiss can convert this one. So you mentioned off marking. For anyone out there, what what do you mean by that, and what is it that's happening on the court? Chat uh, Chat is um, she's positioned herself um, not marking tightly to her opponent, uh, just a little bit further away, so it looks like she's free. And then at the last second, she'll come through and take the ball. It kind of gives the gives the attacking players from Malta the, um, the the idea that the ball is free to go in, the ball is able to go in, and then she'll just come through and take that ball at the last second. So we'd probably say that Malta are just falling into the trap a little bit there, not seeing the defence, just off and slightly aside from the player. So Malta in possession again. Not afraid to put the ball back, as we mentioned in that first quarter. 
That was a much better movement through to goal. And that was Hilly. Yeah. Turn of speed there. We're just having to be a bit more patient with the ball. It's a good drive. And a good front move from Colson. And a good shot to finish. Well marked. That's good defensive pressure there put on Ferrugia and Patch from Malta working incredibly hard just to close down that wing attack movement at the centre pass. Switzerland just struggling, need to look at their other options, potentially look to put that ball back to their wing defence or goal defence. Chanavong attacks well through that midcourt, she might just be an option for them at the centre pass. Errors. And Hilly doing all she can just to cite the options. She's got to work herself around the body of the player, the Swiss player, her opponent defending the ball. Just that height difference again, just affecting Malta in their vision to see their shooters. That's much better play, so Hoytmer, she secures a goal. It's been all about Coulson taking the majority of shots, so she'll be pleased to get herself back into this game. 16-8 the score, Switzerland just pulling away, just dominating. They've reduced their error count as they've entered into this second quarter. Just pulled back there for the penalty. I think the Maltese would have preferred to have had the advantage there, but lo loss of possession again. Just might be costly. Botticic really frustrated. Just too much pace on that ball going in. Just needs to be delivered with a little bit more care through to their shooters. Good rebound there, and a good shot to finish. Switzerland just seemed to be struggling in the second phase of the centre pass there, hiding behind their defenders, having to force the ball back, which is good patience as well, but um, need a little bit more movement from the uh, circle. Attackers. Yep, so Hoytma, another goal for her. This is a critical point for Malta. Just there we see Chanavong just getting in the mix there, just disrupting that final ball through to the shooting circle for Malta. A little bit of work to do. You see that tight double there being put up against Botticic. She's the influential shooter. She's the one who calls the shots, really. Repositions. But good work on the front there by Galia. Good shooter to shoot a ball. So that looks like she was given a 
penalty call, but she bounced the ball, so that was then deemed repossession. So that's all about the penalty. Not needing to wait necessarily for the defender to be by your side as well. So just caught on that one, Coulson. Good rebound position there from goalkeeper. Penza. That's better movement from the Swiss through the court. Ball's moving a lot faster. And just a switch of lead there. So we witnessed Hoytma just lead out of the circle, just opened up the space for Coulson. So just mixing up their strategy in there, Switzerland. You get a sense that they're playing this game now as they want to play after that early shaky start with those unforced errors in their game. And the Swiss, they've read the situation. They know that Botticic is a key player. So often we're seeing a 2v1 in the circle. Gorlea really, as the goal attack for Malta, just needs to sight the space, see where the two defence are and make a movement into that circle. She's a free player as long as she doesn't move into the trap of the two defenders. A good baseline ball there. Malta still putting lots of pressure on the centre pass, making the Swiss work hard. They forced a number of turnovers, uh, Maltese at the back, but they're just not always able to deliver it through to goal, Vicky. No. What would you be saying to them if you got a chance in terms of their through court play? I'd probably be saying to them, support their defenders. Their defenders are working really hard to gain possession. Look after the ball, keep patient. If there's nothing on forward, look at the lateral and go again yourself for a double play through court to try and get the ball to the transverse line. And try and keep a bit of width on the court and attack the circle edge. Once they get it to the circle edge, they're finding it easier to feed the shooters. And again, just that shooter to shoot a ball, not on. It's being read by the Swiss defence. Galea really needed to put that shot up there. She'd done all the hard work. She'd worked herself through into goal. Chance for Switzerland. And it's this player, Coulson, that's stealing the show at the moment. And you mentioned Swiss not... Not able to get that centre pass out, Vicky. The Maltese are defending that first phase really well, aren't they? They are. Yesterday, the Swiss um, had a real busyness about them on the centre pass, and that was a real key influence in, in, in their um, performance yesterday. And today, they just look like they're struggling to get the ball out a little bit on the centre passes. So um, maybe the captain having a look at what options that she's got around her and trying not to force the ball in. But also they could have more early preparation from uh, the attacking player behind the line, trying to do some overloads on the defence, or uh, having one over so the second phase can go out fairly quickly. But um, yeah, the Maltese are making it hard for them, which is a credit to their defence at the moment. Oh, good. Shooter to shoot a ball, clever play by Coulson, the goal attack for Switzerland, just offloading that ball to Hoytma. Good front drive there. No goal. Oh dear, no goal. Goal disallowed. That was a contact by Botticic. So she just needs to be careful when those two defence drop back and pick her up in the shooting circle. So disappointment for Malta. Chance again for the Dynamo. Coulson, there she goes. She's been one of the most accurate shooters already through this challenge competition. Just 14, 13, the clock's counting down. Can 
Switzerland secure this final goal before half time, but no, just can't put that ball over to Hoytmer. And there we go, it's a half time score. Switzerland 23, Malta 10. Gr much better performance by Switzerland through the second quarter. We talked a lot about the work of Coulson. She's been the hot shot, she's securing the goals. And we've seen Hoytmer just find her form. So the two key shooters for Switzerland really moving themselves into being something, a force to be reckoned with. But Vicky, you've looked and observed a little bit around the goalkeeper, goal defence, that pairing for Switzerland, Pensa and Chanavong. They've just got themselves into this game, haven't they? What are your thoughts in and around what they've been doing differently in quarter two? Yeah, they've just been a lot tighter on their player, um, you know, and it looks like they've got a little bit more strategy as well, at times being tight, but at times off marking to come through and take some possession. Um, you can see that the communication is definitely there as well, which is uh, great from the Swiss team. So we've got Sam Brightman there. We're not, not picking up any sound from in there, but some early indications, I think, from Sam that she's just asking for a little bit more movement off the ball, just being aware, particularly in attack, how the Maltese just move themselves in and around the body of the attacking players, anywhere through the court. So it's something that the Swiss need to look out for, move on to the ball and not stand and wait because... The Malta lineup, they're quick, they're feisty, they get themselves into that front position. So there's a little bit, Natalie Pepperell's just talking, you see her there just trying to just show the body position that the defence need to be looking out for, trying to put up against the shooters. So there's a lot of information for the Swiss. We picked up a little bit around their movement off the ball and possibly Vicky not hiding behind their defence and that first phase of the centre pass, that's a little bit of a concern, isn't it? Yeah, I think she'll, uh, well, Sam will definitely be um, you know, expecting more from their centre passes. They showed yesterday that they're very capable of um, using that early preparation and being available as soon as the centre is ready to release the ball. So she will be expecting more from them in the, uh, on the first phase, second phase of the centre pass. And I think definitely for the Swiss team now, it will be reducing, keeping those errors down and you know, in those, vi in those um, positions where we've got shots that, you know, are they long taking the long-range shots or can we work the ball, can they work the ball around the circle edge um, to gain a better shooting position? So just really giving them some things to think about there. And just again, just... Just looks like she wants a bit of court balance and drives yeah. through the middle with the uh, hand gestures that she's got going on. Yeah, it's just a little bit around their wing attack movement. We've talked about the first ball at the centre pass and just tidying up their attack through to circle edge. So Ridburn there, Calmy, they'll be keen just to try and just alleviate some of those early issues. And the Maltese, they'll be disappointed with the quarter two performance. You see there just Ferrugia just chatting there. I think just trying to work out what's not worked for them so far in this game and we can move into the huddle of the Maltese and let's see what we can pick up from that communication. <laughs> I go for the all interception. I said, 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 I said
وانت هتكون قاعده تبلوك كده مش سايكو جول اللي تعمل ايوه اشيل بتاع اللي انت عاملها بيرو ان زوت حفنا حفنا يونا في النور سيد فري اويت دو تي لاب واش ديت من اب ما مش هتقول لي على السفر تشيست دي فري اوت اند ان اوت اند ان كل هات يستايت على اكثر رايت اوتي الرابيا شو شيء ترى عشان اكثر ما تراب اكثر تنهار ايه هنا اللي انت لها جواز من الدفاع سو بوتا يلا وراك هاي لا وراك لا ما تقدر تلعب ايه 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 and just try and fight back in quarter three. Yeah, they've just lost that patience that they had in the, in the first quarter. Um, they were playing the ball back quite a lot and then driving towards the circle edge, and that's where they were getting their opportunities. So um, and the coach will be really trying to trying to get them to uh, focus on that. And as you can see in there, lots of words to Botticic. She seems to be the strong communicator, the goal shooter. She wants more service. We see there just from the hand signals. The Maltese game is short, sharp, speedy. They play the short game. They use a lot of the bounce in and around the circle edge. They really do need to play their game, keep that work going, just reduce the unforced error rate. So little bit of work to do for Malta. The Swiss, they'll be pleased with the quarter two performance. They've got a healthy lead of 13 goals. Um, both teams just getting themselves ready to come out for this second half performance here at Sports Central. And just to give you some information in and around what you can see over the next few days. So full coverage of all 22 matches is available so 5.95 per day for the day pass it's 14.95 for a tournament pass where you can just see the full two championships all the championship matches and obviously the challenge and we're about to get this first game of the day underway it's Malta versus Switzerland we'd like to hear from you and if you're following us following on social media Tweet us using the hashtag NEOpen16 and we'll do our best to read some of your comments during this coverage. And just one change to report to you for quarter three and that's for Malta. We see Sara as a party enter the game at wing defence. So Patch moves to the bench and for quarter two, Sara as a party enters in that wing defence position. And Botticic really trying to work this ball to goal with some great defence by Penza and Chanavong. Good communication. They're not following any of the movement out of the circle. They're just protecting that vital post area. Not committing themselves any further out. So that's difficult for the Maltese just to bring that ball through to goal. Get to that mid-range shooting position. Well, to have an opportunity now after that error on the centre pass. Just being a bit more patient with the ball. A 
And that's an obstruction against Chanavong. So Botticic to try and get this ball in for Malta. Just not able to get that rebound position, Vicky, are they, the Maltese? So that's the dominant position of Penza. She positions well. Good clear option there from the shooter. Just needs to finish it. Ferrugia there, just a little bit frustrated. She couldn't get herself through to take that penalty. Just needs to keep that composure, keep working strong around that circle edge. And there's a good screen. Oh, dear. Good so, position in there. Yeah, Boticic set the screen, but Galea moved out. Probably just didn't read what Boticic was trying to do. That ball might have gone over, but again, it's the height of Chanavong, Pensa, and Littler that really does affect the ability and confidence of Malta to put that ball over to that back shooter. And again, it's all about Coulson, Vicky, isn't it? it? Is. Yeah, she's, she's doing some very good clear options for her attacking players, making sure that her defenders on the, you know, not, not in the line of the ball. She's cutting her off very well. Switzerland to just bring the ball through the court a lot easier now. Uh, just some quarter three frustrations, as you can see from the Malta lineup. Botticic, she's just getting herself frustrated, just getting caught on obstructions and contacts. So she's a key player for Malta. Just needs to rethink and just try and perhaps move off the body of Penza. A little bit more movement, try and pull Penza and Chanavong apart a little bit more in that shooting circle. Cool as ever. Coulson converts again. It's not connecting that pass there. It was the right move. Yeah. So Botticic is in there again. Pensa tightly on her. It's better when she starts the movement. Boticic pulls Pensa and Chanavong apart. It's not always working on the hold. There she is again. She's really trying to create that pocket for the ball to get through to Golea. That's better. She can convert that one. Give a little bit more confidence to the Malta side. It is their centre pass. Switzerland 25, Malta 12. And if Switzerland can just keep themselves in as they mark the ball carrier, they're putting so much pressure on. They've just got to keep themselves in the game. Their strong arms over the ball. That's really impacting upon the vision and the speed of ball in and around the Maltese attack. Oh, good ball. Good vision. And that was Ferrugia again at centre. She's instrumental in working that ball through to goal. She finds the gaps. There she is again, picks up that loose ball. But it looks like an offside against Galea there, giving Switzerland possession in their goal third. Hoytma converts again for Switzerland. Starting to share the shooting now. Coulson and Hoytma. Good pressure by the Swiss. 
Again, Malta just forced to play this ball in and around that mid-court. And Boticic, again, elected not to shoot. Much further out than where they were with Boticic. Really do need to start and take these chances. You would expect Boticic to put that goal up, certainly in that mid-range area. She's got the accuracy to convert those. So that's a warning to Ferugia, the centre for Malta. Coulson just could, couldn't quite keep hold of that one on the rebound. And Malta in possession. Littler. She's forced out of play there. Just getting a little bit messy in and around this midcourt. Time to tidy up. And Natalie Gregan, the umpire on that far side, just keen to do that. And just not playing the advantage there, so Galea just forced further out. But credit to her, she converts the long shot. That'll give Malta a little bit more confidence. Good rebound there, just following a shot. And Coulson strong on the rebounds. She's been a force in there. It is all about what the defence of Malta can do. Camilleri, goalkeeper, Vela, goal defence. They probably just need to do a little bit more work on delaying the movement of Coulson, the goal attack for Switzerland, and trying just to delay the movement into the circle or towards the post. They're just allowing Coulson that front drive, and she loves doing it, and she's very effective at it. If you were coaching the Maltese, Vicky, what would you say at the next interval to the defensive pairing of Cali Camilleri and Vela? I would definitely be asking uh, more of my goal defence, trying to run the um, the goal attack, Coulson, up high towards the ball and away from the post. Um, put more pressure on her shooting away from the post, or she'll be more likely to pass the ball out. But at the moment, she's just got a little bit of a free range, so I would definitely be asking more of my defenders, um, putting more pressure on them, maybe trying to do some more switches in the circle if... Uh, if the goalkeeper's in a better position to pick up that goal attack run. But we're just, they're just not challenging the front ball at the moment and, and Coulson's uh, using that to her advantage. Yeah, Switzerland getting the ball much easily through to Coulson or their goal shooter, Hoytma. So some delaying defensive pressure needed by Malta in the goal third to try and keep that ball off the circle edge, but equally close down. This impressive performance and dominance of Coulson, the goal attack for Switzerland. And that's Penza supporting the through court play again. It's quick to get to the transverse line to support the attack. Desperately trying to close down that movement now. Just got to keep it clean and just keep within the rules. That was a contact against the goal defence. Vela for Malta.
And that's a timeout called by the wing attack for Switzerland. That's Rydburn. And again, she'll need to leave the court. There will be a change. Just 30 seconds allowed now in the timeout. And it looks like we've got Pascalina von Lanthen Di Nena. She's entered the court at wing attack to replace the injured Rydburn, who is now just receiving some treatment on the bench of Switzerland. And there we see. Good on the screens, goal attack screen there for Malta, Galea screens for that ball to go through to Bosicic. Good structure by Switzerland around the circle edge. So centre wing attack really got a good relationship. They know where they should be in terms of supporting the work of Coulson and Hoytma. It's good to see the structure, Vicky, isn't it? And the support that they're offering. But Coulson, she's had the service. She's got to be the key player and one that Republic of Ireland would maybe look out for when they cross that next game. Yeah, you would think so. However, you know, you've got Heutler in there who, as well, who's reacting very well off uh, Colson's movement. As Colson's driving top, she's, you know, repositioning the baseline. As Colson's dropping back, she's trying to come through at the top. So they've got a good rotation going on in there, which is good to see. It's why it's been quite effective at the moment. a lot of pressure in that circle from the Swiss defence. Great rebound position. And the ball's moving nice and quick through the court now. Good baseline drive there. And a good finish as well from Heitner. So probably not the result we expected given yesterday's performances. Both teams just losing by the 10 goal margin to the USA. What is it, Vicky, that we've not really seen in Malta today compared to yesterday? Probably the patience that they had yesterday, um, being able to reset the ball and reposition and work the ball to the circle edge. Um, it'll be interesting to see shooting stats as well, see if we're com they're, they're converting their shooting uh, opportunities. But uh, yeah, definitely Switzerland, definitely shown a lot more drive in this quarter. So we've got a score line after quarter three, Switzerland 33, Malta 16. It's been a real battle for Malta just to try and just secure those goals against this tight, well-structured Swiss lineup. Some credit must go to the work of Penza, the goalkeeper for Switzerland at the back. She's disrupted the experience of Botticic, the dominant shooter for Malta in those early minutes of this game. Linked with Chanavong at goal defence, that's been an influential pairing in defence for Switzerland. We've talked an awful lot about the coolness of Coulson, the goal attack and how well she's linked with Ridburn, Colmy and Hoytma. Hoytma's definitely found a form. She's got herself back into this game. An impressive quarter by the shooter pairing from Switzerland. There's 
information being spilled out there on the Malta bench. You can see the coach. And we're just trying to listen in now. What have they got to say? What can they do? Well done, yeah. I'm not saying it. It's a good name. It's a good name. If I'm better, I'll go. 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 I'
Uh, I'd say she came out in and out of the game at times. Um, she, uh, you know, there were some quarters where she played uh, more dominant than others. Um, however, I do think she's been fairly consistent, especially in second, third quarter uh, for the Swiss team. But there is a lot to be expected of goal attacks, isn't there? You know, to get the centre pass, then drive into circle, then to be able to put a shot up. and just regaining possession there from a footwork called by the umpire in the, the Malta wing attack. And interestingly, the stats and the caps. Colmy, the captain for Switzerland, just leading into this competition. 27 caps for Colmy. And if we look at that influential power of Coulson she's also got 24 caps so they've got the experience they've certainly held this team together credit to the players from Switzerland they've really reduced the errors they've linked well through the court just being put under a little bit more defensive pressure from Malta in this first few minutes of the final quarter forced to take that longer shot there Hoytmer Just desperately trying to get the ball through into the mid-court, but good, solid, defensive mid-court pressure from Switzerland. And Vicky, you've been looking at the defensive pair of Switzerland. So we've got Coulson, the experienced one, with the high tally of caps. What are your thoughts on Hoytmer? What do we know about her? Um, we know that uh, Hoytmer only started playing netball in 2013, so, and in the same year she got selected in the under-17 squad for the championships, so she's got a lot to learn and she seems to be picking things up fairly quickly, especially with that experience in the circle. Um, she's, she's, you know, she's moving well, her rotation's good, um, she's reading from the movement of the goal attack um, and, and providing an option on the baseline and she's generally trying to cut off the defender as well, so... She is getting a lot from this, and um, you know it, it would be interesting to see her stats, see if she, she's um, accurate. Um, but definitely, a, you know, a young developing player for Switzerland. Switzerland still forcing um, Malta to, to do uh, some handling errors there. It's good defence from the Swiss team. And just if we look back on previous year's results, in 2015, Switzerland secured a victory over Malta with a scoreline of 43-22. So we're heading into a similar margin. So it, it'll be a disappointment for Malta. They came out strong, just losing by 10, the same deficit that Switzerland lost to the USA. So this will be a disappointment for them. They've struggled to get that ball through to the shooters, as we've talked about. But it is this player, Coulson, who's really dominated for the Swiss and the Swiss lineup. Good shot. So this is one great competition, Netball Europe, one of the most busy, influential regions in terms of netball linked and formed as a result of the regional divides set by the International Netball Federation. As I talked about Netball Europe, run by one of, run by volunteers, it's one of the most active regions across the globe, all age group competitions are playing on an annual basis and 
This is where we witness competition like this, the opportunities for Malta, for Switzerland to really develop their game. And that's certainly happened with all the member countries on show through this year's 2016 event. Netball Europe, it comprises of nine affiliated full member countries. And as we've said, they're all present for this event, playing in either the challenge or the championship event. It's run by volunteers, significant time devoted to the development of netball through the volunteers of the Netball Europe board and committees. And it really is credit to those individuals to see the development of the game across the new countries. And we're witnessing two countries that have really gained from this kind of competition and continue to improve their performances. It's also a big welcome this year to Grenada and the USA, who are the two invitational teams. And if we take the challenge competition, so Group A, we've got USA, Switzerland and Malta. So this will be a Group A match that we're seeing at the moment. Group B, we've got the Republic of Ireland, Grenada, Gibraltar, and Israel. And again, there we see Penza just picking up again, but against Chanavong there. So Malta back in possession. Malta has shown some real fight in this quarter. It's so crucial that the shooters try and just get on the front or at least give themselves a little bit more space if they want that overhead ball to go in. They're just almost pinned Vicky on the baseline, aren't they, at the moment? They are. There's some good positioning from the uh, Swiss defence there getting themselves, positioning themselves between the player and the ball and denying any pass that uh, can be placed into the circle. Attacking the centre court, uh, providing some good options on the circle edge, being patient with the ball. And young Heitmer converting. Malta definitely won't go down and out of this game without a final five and a half minute fight to get some more goals on their tally. The Swiss keen to just keep this game moving. And the movement was right, just the distribution there. And for anybody out there just wanting to know the rankings, Switzerland, they're ranked 28. Malta just have a rating, so their rating is really calculated in and around the number of games that they've played. And obviously an average performance score taken. So it is only Switzerland that hold the ranking of 28. See the Republic of Ireland in this competition with a ranking of 26, the USA 25, and currently Grenada a ranking of 30. It is all about the games that you play, the amount of games that you can get involved in, and for Grenada this will be a fantastic opportunity for them just to meet some different countries and engage in this competition. There's a great rebound position there from Penza in the circle. Good front drive from Coulson and managing to convert it. And Coulson just calling time. Looks like they're bringing Heitmer out to goal attack. And a new shooter run for the Switzerland team. So Coulson, that influential goal attack, moves to the bench after the timeout call there. Hoitmer we see in the goal attack, so a positional change 
for Hoytmer. And entering the court is Cotty, a goal shooter. Again, Malta really trying to move this ball quickly through to goal, using that support on the transverse line. And good defensive pressure, just offside called there for the wing defence. Littler from Switzerland. And Golea just stepping in there to the strong arms of Penza. So Galea stepped in, but it is the distance from where that landing foot first went down. So not always an advantage to be stepping in, particularly if Penza is there in front with that height advantage. And again, great defensive work from the Swiss. A great interception from Chantna Vong there, getting herself in the position. The ball was uh, trying to go over the top of her. Didn't manage to move her body backing up and take the interception at a high point. And we see another timeout called there. I think that's Vela, the goal defence for Malta. So for netball enthusiasts out there, remember it's full coverage of the whole of this competition, both challenge competitions and obviously the main competition, the championship. Full coverage of all of the matches is available. It's 5 95 for a day pass, 14 95 for a tournament pass, which would obviously give you access to every single game throughout the competition which is ending on Sunday. It also gives tournament pass holders a chance to access every game that's been played on demand as well for a total of 30 days after the conclusion on Sunday. As we mentioned earlier, we'd like you to have your say at home. Send us those messages on Twitter. Wherever you are in the world, we'd like to hear from you. We'd like to know what you're thinking about the performances on court. So tweet us using the hashtag NEOpen16. And we'll make sure that we read some of your comments out. We'll be looking out for them during the coverage over the next three days. So we're into the final minute and Malta are in possession. They've never given up their fight, the Maltese. They've worked to try and outwit the defensive pressure of Switzerland. But today, Switzerland just proved too strong, maintained their structure, definitely picked up the game plan and stuck to the game plan from quarter two, the Swiss. What are you, what's your take on today? Who are the players that have stood out for you, Vicky? Uh, I think we've already mentioned them a few times, but uh, definitely the captain, the centre. Um, she, you know, she she does she links she links the defence to the attack really well. Um, lifts her team when needed as well. Uh, their goal attack, Colson at times, uh, has been so dominant in the circle and uh, has taken on that pressure of the shot and been quite accurate. Um, just trying to get a goal in here at the in the last 10 seconds. Oh, there she goes. Hoytman has been very good today. Uh, the defensive unit as well have worked very well together. So that was a great finish 
for Hoytma there. She'll not get another say on possession, but the youngster convert, she's held her own in the final few minutes. She's found a form through this game. She'll take an awful lot from that link that she's had with Coulson. So, first game of day two, Switzerland 39, Malta 23. Just tweet us using the hashtag NEOpen16 and we'll do our best to read some of your comments out during the coverage. And it's an early shout out to the children of Shoshana Burma.